bi-verted backlight LED backlit and modified DMG and the IPS screen swapped modified DMG. Two DMGs side by side here. Uh, I haven't bothered with keeping the stock one out because honestly the one on the left is very close. It's still the stock LCD panel. As far as the gap between the pixels, the shades, the contrast, the viewing angles, and the motion blur, it's gonna be basically the same as a stock screen. It still is a stock screen, it's just modified. This one on the other hand though, obviously this is the IPS mod. The screen has been replaced. The one on the right, obviously contrast ratio, viewing angles, everything is better. It's a new screen, modern screen. So yeah, they're different. I prefer the one on the right. Seems like a lot of you guys prefer the one on the left. Let me turn the light off and get a different look at that. Now with the light off, it's kind of hard for the camera to expose for this one. This one's a little bit brighter and you can't control the brightness on it. So when you're in a dark room, that can be a little bit hard on the eyes. Whereas the one on the right, if you're in a dark room, uh, you can turn the brightness down quite a bit. It'll actually go down, it's very dim and it'll go up from here too. So um, you've got a range. And right now it's set fairly close to the one on the left, but it can go brighter, it can go dimmer. And like I said, we can also change the color. So right now it's set to green. This one's green LEDs that make up the backlight. So when you're putting in a backlight, you can choose the color of LEDs that you want. If you wanted blue or yellow or white, etc. These are green LEDs. We've got this set, this screen set to green, although we can change the color on this one. But yeah, side by side, the one on the right just is a lot easier to see. And for me, as I get older, my eyes are not the greatest. I really need all the help I can get. The one on the left, it's doable, but it's a little hard on the eyes. It's not just the contrast, it's not just the motion blur. I think part of it is the brightness. It's always at full brightness and it's kind of like you're just staring into LEDs, if that makes any sense. It feels like it's harder on your eyes. And uh, yeah, so I prefer the one on the right. I get why a lot of people prefer the one on the left. The gap between the pixels and the motion blur is part of what makes the Game Boy the Game Boy. And with the screen replaced, you're losing some of its original charm, some of its original personality. Some have argued we'll eventually probably lose that altogether because eventually all these old DMGs, the screens are going to fail. A lot of them are failing. They're getting horizontal lines. Sometimes the screens fade. Sometimes they get sunburnt. Sometimes they just break because people are trying to do LED backlight mods on them and it's not easy to do. It's easy to break the screen. So there's less and less of them out there and going forward eventually there may be none and so the argument there is you want to keep as many of these around as possible I get that but again for me I need the one on the right it's just it's so much easier on my eyes it's so much easier to see and I can still enjoy playing the games now some people would say just get an emulator like you know one of those little me use or whatever they're called and yeah there's a lot of those out there and they're getting really good um, but some people still prefer the real hardware in terms of just the way the game runs. An emulation sometimes isn't perfect. So, you know, with the one on the right, you're getting like the screen equivalent to an emulator, kind of in a way, a modern screen. But the CPU, everything running, the sound, etc., the motherboard, it's still a stock motherboard inside. So as far as how the game runs, how slowdown affects things, sprites, etc., too many sprites in a game and it slows down it's gonna be exactly the same as original because it is original it's an original motherboard it's an original cpu so the way the game plays and the sound and all that isn't going to change you're just changing the screen and yeah you're losing its personality to a point but for me it's a necessary evil <laughs>